So, thanks for coming into my shop, and I really appreciate you guys watching uh, all my cigar reviews. It um, means a lot to me as a small business owner to have the support of loyal customers. I um, mean, I also enjoy doing these things. I enjoy showing off the cigars that I carry. I enjoy uh, showing off my palate, so to speak, um, and just sharing what else is you know new and out there, things that you might not know to you know break away from some of the larger names like Drew Estate and Romeo and Juliet and um, just discover something new and fun. So today I have the uh, Placeres. This is a torpedo, as you can see. These are hand-rolled in Honduras. They have a Honduran and Nicaraguan filler, and then, and then they have a Habano wrapper. So I've had one of these before when they first came in. I kind of just bought them, uh, bought them on a whim. My distributor had them on sale, so I said, hey, why don't we give, give these a try, something new. Um, uh, and this cigar itself actually pushed me over the 100, uh, 100 cigar uh, mark here in our, uh, our walk-in humidor. So uh, it's also kind of... Yeah, a little bit special to me. Uh, so, the uh, roll is very similar to a Cuban cigar. It's got those those trademark dips and valleys. There's not a whole lot of veins in here. It's pretty smooth. It's got a really nice, uh, soft, silky, silky touch to it. Um, it's very, uh, very nicely rolled. Um, the uh, cap looks to be a, a triple cap to me, so. It's got a lot of um, spice, like sweet spice on the nose. I get sweet spice and a little bit of dirty, earthy tones to it. Um, Real mild smells. Um, there might be a little bit of uh, uh, coffee beans, like fresh coffee beans in there as well, but let me uh, cut this open. The draw is a little, little tight. Um, on my first one, the draw was uh, a little more loose, but it's not bad. It's just a little tight. I get a lot of uh, pepperiness. Um, I get a lot of spiciness on the lips, something I would expect from a, a good quality Habano wrapper. It's got some uh, some green veg vegetation tones in there as well, so I am uh, going to light this up. It's got some really nice nuttiness and really nice uh, toasted bread there on the first light. Real mild, nothing real heavy. The spices there on the lips. Um, usually a Habano wrapper, since since all the spice that it typically carries, um, is you know not something that you would usually recommend for a, a beginning smoker. But once you've had two or three. I feel like the spice would be a really nice, uh, easy change to get into something that's a little bit heavier, because um, it's definitely there, but it's not overpowering like like you'd find on some other ones. So I'm gonna puff on this for a bit, and you know the routine. I'll be right so back. So I am done with this first third here. As you can see, the ash is hanging on pretty well. Um, it does have some splitting going on, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap that right there. Man, that almost actually didn't even want to tap off, so that was going to hold on for, for a little bit longer. The ash is burning nice and white, saying just showing that it's uh, putting all that tobacco uh, to good use, burning up there as I'm, as I'm smoking it. 
A lot of flavors I get are just lots of bread. There's a little bit of nuttiness in there. I've noticed there's a really nice sweetness on the exhale. It reminds me a whole lot of honey. Just get that nice puff and that on that exhale, you get a lot of, a lot of uh, complex flavors you'll find in cigars. Um, next time you're puffing on your cigar and you're really stopping to think about it, on your exhale, when you're blowing out, um, just really think about what flavors you get on that. On this one, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of honey tones that just really stand out, and it, and it goes really well with uh, that, uh, that spiciness that's on the lips. It gives a little bit of a contrast there, and I, I'm enjoying it a whole lot. Um, a very mild cigar overall. Um, I'm hoping it's going to kind of touch more into the medium range, but just a, a real easy smoke um, uh, so far. So let me get here through the second third, and I'll be right back. So I am just about through with this second third here. You can see the burn has uh, not really been been uh, super straight. It's kind of gone, gone straight, and then gone wonky, and then gone straight, and then gone wonky. This is probably the worst uh, that it's been. I mean, it's not... It's not horrible. It looks ugly, but it's still burning uh, just fine. Like I said, it goes back straight and then uh, I guess hit a soft spot or something. Um, overall, the flavors I get are uh, a lot of uh, wood and some nuttiness and that, uh, that toasted bread. And it's still got that nice backbone of honey with a real mild spice on the lips. The spice um, has steadily been fading out. Um, as you smoke it, more and more and more and more uh, goes on your lips than off your lips. Um, so that's kind of to be expected, um, but that that backbone of sweetness is uh, is really good there on that exhale. I'm really appreciating that. Um, one thing I will also say for this cigar is it does not have to be babied. I don't like it when a cigar uh, is put down and then here I come back to it two minutes later and it's out. Uh, so this one I set down uh, for a bit, came back to it. It was still uh, still smoking. Um, not so much that I feel like I'm wasting it, but also, uh, you know, still good enough that I can easily take a puff and I'm right back in it. So that's one thing that I look for in a good quality cigar as well. So let me get here into the last third and let you know if I get any changes. So I am down to the end of this uh, Placeres, uh, which I forgot to say actually in Spanish translates to pleasures. And I will say that smoking this cigar is truly a pleasure. Just the overall construction of it has been uh, fantastic. You can see that burn right there has straightened up uh, just like I expected it to. It kind of had those dips and then straight and then dips and then straight and now it's perfectly straight. I can hold it this uh, close to the end and it's not too hot in my hands. This is definitely a cigar you can smoke all the way down to the bottom. Uh, the torpedo shape is, you know, just one of my preferred shapes to smoke. Why? Because it looks cool. That's why. Is there any real difference in smoking a torpedo versus smoking um, either a box press or, or a perfecto? Not, not really, and I like the torpedo shape. So with that being said, this is definitely a cigar I will continue to carry in the future. The overall taste in this have been very, very steady. This is a cigar that reminds me of an old truck. It's always reliable. It's always steady. It's nice. It's a uh, smooth, uh, smooth taste. Um, it's not bitter even here here down down to the very end. Um, those tastes, like I said, have remained solid. They've remained true. There hasn't been any surprises. I haven't gotten any bitterness, uh, any surprise shocks uh, that I, that I didn't didn't definitely enjoy. So if you're not there already, don't forget brothersfindtobacco.com. You can see a bunch of other cigar reviews. Check out our, our just a small sample of our inventory list. Um, get a view of all the other things we we sell here in the store. Find us. Uh, don't forget, you can also find us on uh, Facebook as well. And as always, thanks for watching.